Okay, good evening. My name is Eric, and I'm going to go through the face expression detector. And um, as you can see, I have my photo blocks open, and uh, I'm going to begin with the coding. So first and foremost, as the activity is about uh, face expression detector. And so we want to be able to program our machine to be able to detect our face and give us the expression on our face. So what we are going to begin with is to uh, get the extension to use for our program. So we are going to go to add extension and add extension column. There are various uh, modules that can be used for many AI technologies. So we are going to make use of the face detection extension, and that will help us to detect and recognize human face. So as you can see, there are other um, modules that you can see here, object detection, human body detection, machine learning, and so on. So let's go ahead and select the face detection. So we are going to wait a few seconds for the module to be loaded. So we have our face detection uh, extension ready to use. So we are going to go ahead. So as you can see, we have various blocks here that we can use for our code, right? So to begin with, uh, I would want my code to start from the event of when the green flag is clicked so that the code will begin to run. So we are going to go to the events palette and we are going to pick this block when, when green flag is clicked. Okay, so let me put it here, when green flag is clicked. So the next thing will be to be able to turn on our camera. So we go to face detection palette and we would pick the block turn on. So as you can see, currently it is on. So let me see, let me turn it off. So currently my Zoom video is on. So I'm going to turn it off. So I've turned my Zoom video off. So I am going to turn this on. So once I activate it, um, right. So now my, my video is on. Let me bring the sprites down here. Okay, so now my Zoom, um, now my camera is on. So as you can see, so it would go on with the code. So let me put this here. So the next thing we want to do is to be able to uh, let the code detect my face. And uh, from there, use that data to be able to uh, process it and analyze it, then be able to give an input, uh, an output, sorry. So uh, we would uh, use this block, analyze image from camera. So this is it, analyze image from camera. Since our camera is on, let us see how that goes. So we click on that, analyze image from camera. So as you can see, uh, it starts with when green flag is clicked. Then the next one is turn on video on stage with 0% transparency. 
So that was to turn on my camera. Then from there, I went on to analyze image from camera that enabled the camera to detect my face. And we have the forever uh, block in there. That meant that it was going to do it continuously and, and not stop. Then from there, uh, I had to input the logic using the if then else, if then else block from the control palette. And what it means is that uh, there had to be a logic uh, that had to be included in the code. And the logic meant that if uh, it gets the number of faces, so as you can see, it gets number of faces greater than zero. So that is from one going. If it's able to get a face, then it will say get expression of the face for two seconds. Else, that is if that statement is true, then it will say get expression of face for two seconds. But if it is false, then it will say face not detected for two seconds. So that is the logic in there and uh, making use of conditional statements in programming. So that is the code and uh, it's time to test it out. So I'm going to click on my green flag and let's see what happens. Out. Currently it's on neutral. Let's see. Okay, thank you very much.